In a nutshell, there are three key steps in comparable company analysis. The first is to identify the comparable companies, followed by calculating the various relative value measures of these companies to arrive at a valuation estimate for the target firm's shares. The final step is to determine an appropriate takeover premium and apply it to the valuation to arrive at the estimated takeover price for the target firm's shares. Let's briefly go through each of the steps. The first step involves identifying a set of other companies that are similar to the target firm. Ideally, these companies should come from the same industry as the target and have a similar size and capital structure. This set should be as large as possible, so if there are insufficient similar companies in the same exact industry, companies from similar industries may be included. After the comparable companies are identified, the next step is to calculate their relative value measures. Such measures can include price multiples like price to earnings, price to book, price to cash flow and price to sales, and enterprise value multiples like EV to free cash flow, EV to EBITDA and EV to sales. The specific multiples that are appropriate for the analysis depend on the industry that the target company is in. In addition, industry-specific multiples may also be used. For instance, the price paid per barrel of oil can be a useful ratio to consider in analysing companies in the oil and gas industry. So, for example, if three comparable companies are identified, and these are the valuation variables, we can calculate the PE, PB, PCF, and PS ratios for the comparable firms. There's no fixed rule on how to apply these ratios to arrive at the value of the target firm's shares. One simple way is to just calculate the mean ratio for the comparable companies. Based on the valuation variables of the target itself, we multiply them with the comparables mean to get the estimated per share stock value of the target based on these companies. And if we assume the same weight for each of these estimates, we arrive at the mean estimate, which is $47.25. This value is an estimate of the target company's stock value relative to the comparable companies. A lot of these substeps are, of course, up to the discretion of the analyst. Besides the choice of the relative value measures, some analysts may prefer to use the median or range of values rather than the mean and some analysts assign different weights to the valuation variables based on their importance. The last step is to estimate and apply a takeover premium to arrive at the final estimated takeover price of the target company. The takeover premium is to entice shareholders to relinquish control of the company to an acquirer. The takeover premium is estimated based on recent takeovers of similar companies. So, for example, if there are four recent takeovers of similar companies, and these are the prices of the company's stock prior to takeover versus the takeover price, the takeover premiums for each of these companies will be as such. And likewise, a simple approach to calculate an appropriate takeover premium would be to calculate the average. So, in this case, the mean premium would be 32.2%. This means that the takeover premium should be $15.21 based on the market value of the target share price. If we add on the takeover premium to the estimated stock value, the estimated takeover price per share for the target company is therefore $62.46. As you can see, the comparable company approach is not too difficult. In practice, the hardest parts would be to find comparable companies and recent takeovers of similar companies. The calculations should be pretty straightforward. Let's have a quick exercise. You were tasked to propose a plan to acquire Smooth Corp. Given the relevant information for the comparable companies and recent takeover transactions of similar companies, estimate a takeover price for Smooth Corp shares using the comparable company analysis approach. Pause the video now and work out your answer. And we're back. Since we're only given the earnings, book value and cash flow per share, we're only able to calculate the PE, PB and PCF ratios for the comparable companies. Assuming they are equally similar to the target company, we just calculate the simple mean for the comparable companies. Check your calculations. And if we calculate the share price of Smooth Corp based on the comparable company's mean ratios, we get the following estimates. 
The mean of these three figures is $246. This is the market value of SmoothCorp shares based on comparable companies. Next, we calculate the takeover premiums. The two given takeover transactions had 25% and 30% premiums, so the average is 27.5% premium. Apply this premium to Smooth's estimated share price we calculated earlier, we get an estimated takeover price of $313.65 per share. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At PrepNuggets, let us do the hard work for you.